assalamu alaikum students in today's lecture we will study about the morphology anatomy function and specialized form of roots contents uh, to be covered are features of root and then we will discuss about the regions of roots and then uh, we'll learn about the distribution of a uh, root system and we will also talk about the internal structure of dicots and monocot roots and at the end we will Uh, discuss the modify and specialized form of roots at the end of this lecture students will understand about the different feature of the root its function its morphology and different form of root okay uh, first we will describe uh, the root a uh, root is actually a uh, descending part of plant Uh, which is positively geotrophic hence it grew downward uh, into the soil the roots develop from the radical it grows in the absence of light the roots consist of main axis and the tap root the lateral uh, branch of tap root are termed as secondary roots the secondary roots further give rise to the lateral branches which are termed as a uh, tertiary roots many roots have a relationship with bacteria and fungi in the rhizosphere so the rhizosphere is actually soil zone near the root or we can also define it the contact zone between the root surface and the soil uh, roots perform various uh, function uh, the first one is the absorption of water and inorganic salts that exist in the soil second function is the conduction once mineral salt in solution have been absorbed from the soil the roots also help to pass or to conduct them to the stem third function is the anchorage roots serve to support or anchor the stem by fixing it in the soil in some plants the tap roots become very thick and fleshy owing to storage of reservoir to its material if you look at the vertical section of the root from bottom to top it shows various tissues and section these sections are typically the zone of cell division the elongation zone the maturation zone and the matured zone so let's discuss zone of cell division the root tips include two subsections the root cap and the meristematic region a meristem is any part of plant where cell divide rapidly forming new cells the root cap at the tip of the root apex protects the root apical meristems called rem so what is a root apical meristem it is a group of small regularly shaped cell most of which are dividing the root cap is also the site of gravity perception which controls the direction of root growth next is a zone of cell elongation it lies above the zone of cell division remember when in the elongation zone no cell division occurs but there is a vigorous cell elongation activity the next section is the maturation zone where xylem vessels are completely differentiated here some epidermal cells elongate perpendicularly toward the rhizosphere these cells are known as the root hairs after a short period of life root hairs die and this region becomes the mature zone of the root root hairs lies above the region of elongation and cells of the outermost layer form a thick cluster of cylinder root hairs in most plants absorption of water and minerals occur near the root hair where vast number of tiny roots hair increase the surface area remember students in plants without root hairs absorption is accomplished entirely you know, through epidermal cells the detailed structure of dicot or monocot roots can be understood from the study of transverse section of the 
young seedling roots like gram, pea, bean, etc. In their roots, uh, tissue can be regarded as a series of concentric rings of different tissues such as epidermis, cortex, and vascular cell. So let's discuss in detail. Normally, and the outer layer of cell is called epidermis, but in case of root, we call it epiblema. Epi means outer and blema means covering. It serves as a sort of skin and protects the tissue. Tiny hair like extension called root hairs grow beneath the epidermis. And the root hairs absorb most of water and nutrients. Remember students, in most plants, the life of any root hair is very short. It functions for only a few days or a week. The cell wall of the epidermal cell are highly water permeable, not covered with cuticle because a root is designed for water uptake. Cortex lies beneath the epiblema. The root cortex is derived from a ground metal stems and is composed of a parenchymatic cells. Uh, it plays important uh, role in controlling minerals accumulation by the roots. So next is endodermis. Uh, the innermost layer of the cortex called endodermis, it is a single layer of cells outside the vascular system. A uh, space between the cells are covered with a waxy layer called suberin. Endodermis uh, function is to play a special role in controlling mineral accumulation by root and regulate the uptake of water and nutrients into the plant. Next is pericycle. The outer boundary of the vascular cylinder is the pericycle. It has three main functions in dicot roots. It is a site where the development of lateral roots is initiated. It contributes uh, to the formation of vascular cambium. It also contributes to the formation of cork cambium, while in monocot roots, no secondary growth occurs. So pericycle is only involved in lateral root initiation. Okay. Next is a steel. Uh, the steel is actually bonded on the outside by a single cell thick pericycle and inside is uh, the primary vascular tissue. In the roots of dicot plants, uh, the primary xylem usually consists of central core of xylem elements organized into two or more radiating points and uh, described as a tetraarch. In uh, most monocot roots, uh, the very center of the root is composed of parenchyma cells with the primary xylem and phloem uh, forming in a ring uh, and described as fully arch. Two basic types of a root system, fibrous root and tap root. They are distinguished by the way they develop and by their appearance. In plant, the tap root is largest, most central and most dominant root from which other roots sprout laterally. Prominent in dicot, secondary and tertiary roots grow from primary roots. Some desert plants have a rapidly growing taproot system that enables them to penetrate deep into the soil, for example, apple, carrot, etc. Regarding fibrous root system, it is mainly present in ferns and in all monocotyledon plants. Fibrous root system is characterized by many thin laterally roots with no main root. The fibrous root uh, system usually does not penetrate deep into the soil, for example, uh, corn, dry, and other grasses. Another uh, root system also exists called adventitious root system. So what is adventitious root? A root growing from a location other than the underground portion of the plant. You can see in the picture, these roots uh, may grow from stem or leaf. Example includes corn, sugarcane, bamboo, etc. The primary function of these roots is to support the plant. Okay, and distribution of a root system are of the following two types, uh, shallow root system and deep root system you can see in the picture. Uh, cereals and grasses have a shallow root 
system with a great number of roots in the uh, first centimeter of the uh, soil. It means that they do not uh, penetrate deep in the soil. Next is a deep root system. Uh, plants like uh, sugar beet have a deep root system. Plants of this type depend uh, principally on the water located deeper in the soil. Uh, it also helps in anchorage of plants and also absorption of uh, water from soil.